Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to go through creating different color palettes in Illustrator. The first way we're just going to pick colors from an image to create the color palette that you can save and reuse over and over again. You could even send it to someone else for them to use. Uh, the second way we're going to still use an image and select colors, but this time we're going to make a template so that you can reuse this over and over to create color palettes to share with people on Instagram or Pinterest or even your website. So to get started, go ahead and open any image that you would like. I'm using an image that I had taken in Manchester of some graffiti because I love all of the different colors that the artist used. So to get started, you need to use the rectangle tool. You could even use the ellipse tool, really any shape. I just prefer the rectangle tool. And you can find that on your left toolbar or select M on your keyboard. You can make this a rectangle, you can make it a square by hitting shift. It is completely personal preference. And using the selection tool or V on your keyboard, select this first rectangle, hold alt and drag down. If you want it to stay aligned with the top one, hit shift so that it will not move out of line. And to duplicate this process so that you have the same gap in between, hit command D as many times as you would like. And I'm just going to select all of these and bring them up. So the best way to pick colors from the image is to first select one of your rectangles and then use the eyedropper tool, which you can find once again on the left side or hit I on your keyboard. And just click around in your image. When you find a color that you like, you can move on to your next spot. And so you don't have to continuously go between clicking your selection tool and then clicking on the eyedropper tool, clicking around for color and just repeating this over and over. You can hit command and it will go back to the last tool that you use, which was the selection tool. So with command, push down, select your next shape. And then when you lift off of command, it will go back to the eyedropper tool. So just continue doing this until all of your colors have been selected. And all you have to do now is use your selection tool or V on your keyboard, select the colors that you have created, click on your swatches panel. And if you do not see it, all you have to do is go to window and swatches. So with the colors you created and swatches open, click on this folder to create your new color group and selected artwork and hit okay. So now you will see the colors right here in swatches. And to save them, click these books in the bottom left and then save swatches. Can name it whatever you would like, whether you're working on a collection, you can name it that so that it's easy to remember what the colors were for or by a destination, really anything that will remind you of the colors that you selected and hit save. And if you ever need to find your color swatches, go to user defined and you will see any that you have created right there. So 
to make your actual color palette that you can share with your followers on social media or your website. Or really it's just a reminder to yourself something that you can put in a folder and then go back to and use it as a reference. We're going to start with a new document so go to file new. And I'm going to make this um, a square and then I'm just going to make it the size of a typical Instagram image which is 1080 by 1080. Create. And because I'm making this as a template that can be used over and over, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a square. So use your rectangle tool or M on your keyboard. And for now, I will just make it black, turn off the stroke. And using the rectangle tool again, I'm just going to make some spots for the colors. So selection tool, alt and shift. And then hit command D to duplicate. And as you could see, these don't quite match up with the top spot for the image. So all you have to do is select all of them and then just widen it so that it will match. I'm going to use this image again. So you can either drag it up and drop it in. You could also select the image and go to edit, copy, and then once you're in your document, go to edit and paste. I went using command and the minus sign, I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to scale this image down and you can right click, arrange and send to back if you would like. The keyboard shortcut is command and the left bracket, and I'm just going to send it behind that original box. So with your selection tool, select both of the image and that box or rectangle. And in order to create a clipping mask so that your image shows, and it will cut off the excess of the image that is overlapping you can hit Command-7, or you could have also used right-click, make clipping mask. To get a better view of your color palette, you can use Command and 0, and it will bring it up to the full size of your screen. So once again, using the method we used in the first part, select your first rectangle, and then hit I on your keyboard or select your eyedropper tool and select the colors that you would like in your image. Hit command and while still holding it down, select the next rectangle, lift off of it and you now have your eyedropper tool again. So once you're done selecting your colors, you could drop in your logo somewhere on here. And if this is something you would like to use as a template, all you need to do is save it as an Illustrator file, which it will automatically pop as. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson in creating color palettes and creating new swatches. Uh, let me know if there's something that you would like to learn and make sure to follow me on social media.